Is she for real? Wait, what happened? We don't know what a woman is anymore? Hello friends, welcome to Look and Live and this is The Perspective. <laughs> friends, I don't like to make these type of videos, but every now and then we need to. Just because I think the world is just uh, going crazy. We becoming so confused about the basic things of life and I think it's a dangerous thing. Here's the reason why I'm sharing this with you. On your screen right now, we have Ketanji Brown Jackson. She is, by the way, an American attorney, Jewish, Jew Jewish, and who has served as a federal judge on a United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Cir uh, Circuit since 2021. Okay. She is a current nominee for the Supreme Court awaiting confirmation in the Senate. So this is, she's got clouds. Okay. This woman has done her work. She has, she has achieved a lot to even be considered as a Supreme Court um, nominee. By the way, the Supreme Court, by the way, is the highest court, highest court in the federal uh, judiciary of the United States of America. So these are the, they are responsible for voting laws in the land. They are among the most um, respectable group of people you could ever find. There are nine judges on the Supreme Court. <clears throat> so this is a very powerful position that this woman holds waiting to be confirmed. Recently, she was asked a question. The question is very simple. What is a woman? Friends, listen to what she said. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, people make arguments, and I look at the right. law and I decide. Well, all right. Well, she's not a biologist. What, what is going on? What happened? Wait, you can't give a definition? Look, now, let me, first of all, let me say, I am not here to judge. Um, you know, I am not here to judge Miss Brown Jackson in any way. I'm not here to excoriate or rebuke her publicly. That's not what I'm doing. But what I'm doing here is to show there has been there has been uh, either the theory of indoctrination coming from secular mindset, um, the power or the effectiveness of the work of the LGBT movement has gone to the very top of the top to the point where a woman so well achieved, respectable, high, exalted position as she held, cannot give a basic definition to the word woman. You know, I remember the movie <laughs> Apollo 13. Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem. No, there are several reasons why this is probably happening, and I'm going to finish watching the video in a minute, but I'm going to give my input very quickly. I think what happened is in the process of um, trying to be nice and trying to be kind and trying to be acceptable to all people, we have also imbibe and indulge the spirit of compromisation. We have also lose sight of the basic facts of just um, right and wrong. This is referred to as Babylon in the Bible. It's called confusion. 
and the idea is Babel, you know, babbling, not making any sense. And what's going on here is that the spirit of Babylon has really taken over even among governmental leaders, people in high positions such as Jackson. It's a problem. You know, I remember Matt Walsh also had a discussion on his, on the uh, Dr. Phil show. He asked the same question. What is a woman to about two uh, transgenders? And pff, pretty much the same answer that Jackson gave is kind of what they gave. Now, let's take a listen. Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. Hmm? Do you see what I'm talking about? This is a problem. Who has... What spirit has come into our world and has completely confused our mentality to the point where the basic definition of a single word, many of us are either fearful or confused or unwilling to even dare to touch it with a 10 feet pole. I don't understand what happened, but I can tell you that spirit is not the spirit of God. That's for sure. Let's keep watching. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Now, if you haven't seen this, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll go in there. It goes into some silly, crazy questions, but it doesn't have to go in that direction. But I don't know what happened to our <clears throat> Supreme Court Judge Namani uh, Jackson's and where she has lost her. I don't know, basic definition of a single word woman. But I'm going to dare to see if I could define it. Not that I'm smart, not do because I have all the greatest degrees in the world. I don't think I need that to be able to say what a woman is. So according to National Review, and they address this issue regarding uh, Ketanji Brown uh, dodging the question of what is a woman. Um, I like the definition they give, right? I read this earlier this month in a column titled, What is a woman? Quite simply, a woman is an adult female, adult human female. Amen. Simple as that. A woman belongs to the female sex, which means she has female chromosomes and reproductive organs. And gametes, gametes, I'm using it right, wrong. Sex is uh, observable at birth. And even earlier with ultrasound technology detectable long after death by DNA testing. It is a fact. Listen, we can dig the bones of individuals. Okay. Forensic file kind of thing. They will go as far as finding a piece of bone of an individual and they will run uh, their DNA analysis and come with which sex or gender the individual is. It is not something that is far-fetched today. They can do it, okay? And for us to say we don't know what a woman is, this is a problem. Let's finish listening to um, Facts News about the answer. Let's, uh, let's start the video from start, from scratch. Let's finish the whole thing. Provide a definition for the word woman. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? Why not? N not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? That is a problem. Again, it is a problem. Is it because it's so controversial? Is it because you are so afraid of hurting people's feelings? Or do you concern more with feelings or truth? You know, I kind of like what Ben Shapiro said, although I don't agree with him on everything. But he says facts don't care about your feelings. It just doesn't. It's a fact. Like, like what? What's what's so difficult for you to define? 
If you don't know what a woman is, my question is, what are you? If you don't know what a woman is, then what are you? So therefore, you don't, you don't even know what you are anymore. I know what I am. <laughs> I'm still a man. By the grace of God, I am. I plan on remaining one for the rest of my life. I'm hoping you know what your sex is. But anyway, don't get me started. Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If Well, that doesn't have anything to do with the question in the first place. Because it wasn't more like whether what kind of job you do or things like that. But anyway, there's a dispute about a definition. People make arguments and I look at the right. law and I decide. Well, all right. Well, she's not a biologist, but I learned from my parents and in school <laughs> what a boy and a girl is and what determines whether you're a man or a woman. Yeah. It's not rocket science. And she dodged the question. It's it was not. a simple question. She, like she dodged the question from Ted Cruz. She wouldn't give an answer uh, if, if babies are born racist. She wouldn't say yes or no. She says, well, I don't believe they should be taught Good that point. they are yeah. racist. Um, it's a simple question, yet Marsha Blackburn's getting attacked on certain media outlets for asking her a very simple question. So uh, simple. These people are overcoached. They're too smart for their own good. Just common sense, yeah. Tom. She, she actually, I thought that overall yesterday, she was, fine. She was well prepared. She, was fine. she comported yeah. herself very yeah. well, and she did not comport herself as sort of a leftist until Marsha Blackburn. No, Marsha Blackburn. That, yeah. that was, was the, the end of the day, by the way. That was Notice the end fatigue of the day. starts setting in at the end hours. of the day. Yeah, exactly yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. And that was, you know, uh, Marsha Blackburn's the only one who laid a glove on her, right. and it was over something so incredibly right. simple. Um, you know, define what a woman is. And she said, well, I'm not a biologist. I can't do that. It gives you a sense of just how how deep and how troubling the um, the, the brainwashing is right. mm. that the left has embedded in these folks, even someone who is as accomplished and smart and, and, and strong as Katanji Jackson Brown. Yeah. Wow, that is actually troubling. And I like the comments <laughs> that they just made here. That is a problem, man. You know, uh, secular humanistic theory, uh, this postmodernism concept, uh, these lower base passion, emotionally driven culture has so influenced the people to the point where even a judge is afraid of telling the truth. Friends, where are we headed with this kind of nonsense? Where are we going with this? Jesus better come soon, because I think we're losing it. This is so, such a problem. And, um, you know, friends, not only does... Uh, I'm just glad that they took the time to comment on this, but I'm going to tell you what a woman is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to let Jesus tell you what a woman is, because he always tells the truth. He's not afraid of speaking it. It says in the book of Matthew 19, verse 4, by the way, you see this verse I'm going to share with you? Every time I speak to an LGBT person um, who asks me the truth about my position on homosexuality, this is the verse I go to. Never to judge or condemn. I just tell them this is what the Bible says. And if you have a problem with that, you know how I'm with me. You know how I'm with God because he wrote this. He gave us the scripture. Now look at this. In verse 4, it says, and it said, talking about the the question that Jesus was asked by uh, by the Pharisees, uh, it says this, right? Have you not read which... This is what Jesus did. Have you not read it? I like when he does this because what he's saying is, didn't you read your Bible? Didn't you read your Bible? The whole idea is Jesus was showing that the scripture is infallible, my friend. What the scripture says is the truth. He says, have you not read and the idea is that which from the beginning, talking about God, made them what? Male and female. So who made them male and female? God did. Not our society, not our culture, not the LGBT, not the so-called I feel this way or I feel that way. Yes, we live in a sinful world. Things have totally corrupted and things have gotten crooked over time. We understand that. But this doesn't change the facts. The facts remain, God made them both male and female. And that's what scripture says. You got a problem with this? Well, you need to take that argument to God because I'm just reading what he says. 
and said what? For this cause shall a man leave father and mother. Not a man leave uh, father and mother and cleave unto his what? His husband? No, cleave unto his wife. So God says the male and the female ought to come together in to unite in marriage. So the support for same-sex marriage, although I think it has a place in a sense where people can make that decision, but to say it is of God, it is not. And the state to support such a thing as they have done since 2000 and what, 2014, I believe, 2013, they voted that into law. The Supreme Court ordered that to become normal in our society. Listen, God doesn't approve it. We can approve it all we want. The scripture stands against that because what God acknowledges as marriage is between a male, between a man and a woman. All right. He says the twain shall be one flesh. So therefore, he went on to say, wherefore, there are no more twain, but one. Wherefore, uh, what therefore God have joined together, let no man put asunder. So there you have it. I don't think we need to be more any more confused. Um, uh, I don't know, man. It, it seems like these policies coming from the left and I'm not saying the right or any better, but policy coming from the left is totally confusing, totally confusing to the point where you're wondering how much worse could it get? All right. So. I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is the perspective on Pastor James. Share your thoughts and comments with me on this video. So much more could be said, but I think enough being said, we can end it right here. Um, like and subscribe to the page if you are new. And so click the bell icon to be notified for my upcoming videos as well. Comment below. Sign up sheet below for registration for Bible study. Anyway, God bless you. And as always, look unto Jesus and live by faith. Have a good one. Bye.